Hello everyone, welcome to Payment Tech Media. In this video, we will talk about redundant array of independent disk, RAID, also known as redundant array of inexpensive disk. So what is RAID? Basically, we can have multiple hard drives working together in order to provide fault tolerance or improve performance. We do have software RAID using operating system disk management to implement the RAID and we do have hardware RAID using the RAID adapter. So for this video demonstration, I'm using VirtualBox and going over software RAID using disk management. So here as we can see, the VirtualBox already installed, Windows 10 virtual machines created, the operating system installed, and here we can see our Windows 10. Already I added multiple VHDs to this Windows 10, if I show you guys. Going to the VirtualBox manager, Windows 10 settings, and then here under storage, already these VHD is created and attached to this virtual machine. Okay, let's go ahead and open disk management. Start disk mgmt.msc. Or we can just simply right click start menu and then select in disk management. Let's maximize the window. So here we can see the three virtual hard disks that we added and it's already initialized and they are basic disk GPT partition style. In order to set up RAID, it has to be dynamic disk. So let's convert this basic disk to dynamic disk. Right click, convert dynamic disk. Let's convert disk one, two, and three. And remember, this is software RAID configurations. In the real world case scenario, it has to be a physical computer and physical hard drive attached to the computer. This is just a configuration which is exactly the same on a physical computer. But the functionality has to be actual physical hard disk and separate physical hard disks. The reason because these are virtual hard disks and all the virtual hard disk is on the same physical hard disk. If that one physical hard disk fails, all this virtual hard disk will fail. So just keep in mind, for this video demonstration, I'm using a virtual environment. But for the actual functionality to work, has to be physical computer and physical hard drives. Here is just going over the configurations. I'm using virtual environment. Okay, so converting disk 1, disk 2, and disk 3 to dynamic disk. That's the first step. Here now we can see it says dynamic disk. Next, let's go over RAID level 1, which also known as mirrored. So right click on allocated space on disk 1, dynamic disk, and we can say mirror, creating new mirrored volume. And then next, so assigning the amount, let's say 100. For this video demonstration, I'm going as 100 megabytes. I cannot click next because on the mirror we need two hard drives. So I'm going to go ahead and add disk 2. Add disk 2 and you see automatically it did assign 100 to the other disk. So the actual size will be 100 because the second disk is just a backup exact duplicate of disk 1. So rate level 1 also known as mirrored. Let's click next. D drive will be our mirrored volume. Let's say rate 1, next and finish. Okay, so as we can see it's color coded, tells us disk 1, disk 2, this is rate 1 and our D drive. If I right click open, this is our D drive and it is 100 megabyte only because the other disk is exact duplicate of this disk. So RAID 1 provides fault tolerance, redundancy for the backup purposes, right? If one disk fails, we do have the other disk up and running. So in the real world case scenario, this is one physical disk and this is another physical disk. I'm just going over the configurations using virtual disks. Now let's go ahead and set up Stripe. We can right click on allocated space, Stripe, which also known as RAID level zero. Next, let's add and let's say 100. And as we can see, Stripe volume are exactly same size as well. We can have maximum up to 32 disks working together. Let's add the third one as well. The total size will be 300. In the stripe or rate level 0 improves performance 
data writes across multiple disks. So other disk has the seek time to find the next available data. Okay, and then click next. Our E drive will be rate level zero. Okay, this is our E drive. And now let's go ahead and create span. Span is just bunch of disk, bunch of disks working together also known as JBOD, just bunch of disk. So having disk one, let's say add 100 megabytes, we can add disk two, disk two we can uh, highlight it and say, let's say 50 megabytes, let's add disk three, disk three highlighted, let's say um, 150 megabytes, which gives us a total of 300. So Span volume doesn't matter if the disk has to be same size or different size. It just expands the capacity of the storage. Having multiple hard drives to work together to expand the capacity. It does not improve performance or doesn't provide any fault tolerance. So that's known as span volume. And click next. Next. Let's say span. Next and finish. Now let's say if you just want to create one simple volume on disk one. On disk one, new simple volume. Next, let's say 100. Next, next, and finish. Okay, so here we can see disk zero, where the operating system installed, basic disk, disk one, two, and three, dynamic disks, and all of them, GPT partition style, and here we can see it's color coded, tells us red for rate one, that's mirrored. And we have this color for stripe volume, data writes across multiple disks, doesn't provide any fault tolerance or redundancy, it just improves performance. Span is just bunch of disks working together to expand capacity. And simple volume is just one partition on one disk. Now if one of these drives fails, the only partition times that we will have our data is rate one, mirrored. So let's say if disk one fails, only our D drives will be available because it's duplicate, rate one, mirrored. All the other drives will fail. To see that, we can turn off our virtual machine and go into the settings and disable disk one. But before that, let's add some data into these drives. So let's close disk management, go into this PC, and then on RAID one, let's create a folder. Inside the folder, let's create a test document. This is for test. Control S, save. Let's copy same folder on the E, rate zero, span. Okay, let's turn off and we can go to the virtual box manager, go into the settings of Windows 10, storage and disk one, VHD one, let's remove. Okay, and let's turn on. Okay, so our Windows 10 is up and running. Let's go ahead and open this PC. And here we can see RAID 1, our mirrored, only available test. All the other drives failed. Now let's open disk management. And here we can see tells us failed redundancy in the future if this disk fails with no more backup. And also we do have RAID level 5, this known as striping with parity bits backup. Minimum of three hard drives working together, data writes across multiple hard drives and also creates a parity bits. 
In case if one of the disks fails, the Parity Bits Backup can reconstruct the lost data. So RAID 5, it does provide some sort of redundancy and improves performance. So quick recap, simple volume is just one partition, spanned volume, having multiple hard drives working together to expand the capacity, it doesn't improve performance or doesn't provide any fault tolerance, if one of the disks fails, all the data is gone, and then striped having multiple hard drives working together to improve performance. We can have up to 32 hard drives working together. It has to be same size and same speed. If there are magnetic types of hard drives, we have 5400 RPM, 7200, 10K, 15K, and mirrored having two hard drives working together to provide fault tolerance or redundancy. Mirrored volumes also known as RAID 1 striped RAID 0 and of course RAID 5 which is striped with the parity bit backup. So this was quick overview of creating software RAID, setting up RAID 0, RAID 1, spanned or just simple volume. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any question please leave it in the comment section. To see more tech videos like this subscribe to our channel. Thanks again and have a good day.